folks, out uh, doing some uh, gear tests today. I posted a video on, uh, on my new axe, so I've been out fiddling around with that, of course, and uh, I figured since I was out doing that today, I might work on the camp a bit. So I've got a preliminary idea of what I want to do. I've gotten some nice ideas from, from some friends. Uh, Bushcraft Heroes had sent a couple suggestions about the bed. Uh, I like the ideas, but I think they're not really applicable to kind of my situation at this point in time because it's just a seating area at this moment but I think if I were to transition into a more of a bed style their idea is uh, really great you can also check out their video on the way they made their beds which I suggest because it's a nice it's an interesting way to do it and I think it would be very comfortable but I think for now I'm looking more for a sitting area a uh, few suggestions to also lower the uh, actual lean to so, so the basic idea is I have a ridge line and that ridge line is going to be, you know, a bit lower than before, as I said. Um, and it's going to be a basic frame for today, hopefully. And then above it, I'm going to make another ridge line. And that's going to hold another canopy going out over the fire. So the basic idea is that when the smoke comes up out of the fire, hopefully it will vent up and out, and then, or out to the sides or out front, and that it won't get trapped inside where I'm sitting, which is kind of the biggest problem. From there, I think I'd have to modify it based on wind and whatnot, but for now, that's the basic idea. The main lean tube will be uh, waterproofed, I guess, in some way or fashion. I'm not really sure how, and so will the top. I may have to resort to using tarps. I don't know. I don't really want to, but if I do, I do. Um, so yeah, that's the basic plan. So uh, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to get some cuts done, and uh, I'll touch base with you in a minute. So you probably can't hear it yet, but the wind's slowly starting to pick up. There's supposed to be some thunder showers coming in this afternoon, not really sure. But it's been quiet all day and now the wind's starting to pick up, so I feel like there might be something coming. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do my basic structure coming out. So I'm going to extend it out probably maybe a half a foot to a foot. I'll see when, when I kind of lay out some logs. And then I'm going to do an equal one on the other side. And from there, that'll tell me how I have to put the next ridge pole, which will be, say, X feet above it, maybe one or two feet. And then again, the smoke will come up and out around, hopefully. So I'm thinking probably keep it close to this ridge pole. So when the smoke comes up, it's going to go out. And I'll extend the other guys out, maybe past the trees when I do that. From here, I'm going to uh, also align the bed and then cut the bed to fit, or the, the sitting area basically, to fit the distance at which this comes down. That way there's less chance of rain getting on me as well. Okay, so I think I got the raised bed done. I think I got it all trimmed off to the point that I want it. Uh, I might add a few extra logs here, but I think they're all pretty level, pretty straight up. That looks pretty good if you ask me. It's, a little, it's not as level of course, but uh, you can just kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do. And then somehow make some poles out this way and then make a roof and then the idea being of course is the smoke goes up and out through that opening so yeah we'll see well it looks like it didn't rain in the end i got everything done that i wanted to get done can't really complain about that i really thought there was going to be some rain for sure but i guess not well that's about it for me today guys i think i got a lot accomplished it's a good start. There's going to be some challenges, I can tell right off the bang. Uh, right now I'm leaning towards the tarp idea. Just on a construction level it saves a ton of time. I'll still build walls I think to it so it protects the sides. But then the top overlay I think will be actually all wood. And then maybe uh, put brush on it and things like that. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, please subscribe. Hit the little bell below if you want to get more updates as they come along. Again, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your own adventures. Take care.